welcome back again to Pop Spots. Today we're on McDougal Street and uh, we're actually going to go to see Mineta Street and Mineta Lane. So it's right down in back of me, right there. So let's take a look. All right, the first thing we're going to see is a doorway to the Café Wa. Uh, you have to go downstairs. Café Wa is downstairs. The top is a theater on the right. And you'll see what it used to look like. Here it is. There's the doorway that goes down to the theater. And on the right was a barn up until 1958. Um, and now, as we uh, continue down, we're going to see a picture of D Here's a picture of Dylan playing in the base in 1961. Uh, it's one of the first places he went to when he came to New York City. Now, um, this this group that you're going to see right here is Bruce Springsteen's group called the Castiles. They were from New Jersey. They came in on weekends because uh, they didn't serve liquor and they could play to, to teenagers. Uh, that was Bruce on the left. So uh, here's another picture of Bruce playing with this band inside here. There's the back door to the right where it's the little stairs that go downstairs to go in it. Uh, as we proceed down you'll see me again holding the camera. Now against this wall there's a once a photo shoot with the Loving Spoonful. There they are. Picture by Dave Garr. And there's another picture here of a guy named David Ray who was from a group called Kerner Ray and Glover in 1963. Uh, friends of Dylan from Minnesota. Here's the Loving Spoonful again. Uh, it says Tim Harden is a bad boy. It said that in one of those early photographs too. Now we're going to keep continuing down. On the right here at 16 Minette Lane is uh, the Loving Spoonful again from that same photo session. And now a, uh, an album by Booker Irvin, who was a sax player from 1960, album from 1964. Over here we got Tim Buckley. Uh, he was a jazz singer who died young. His son was Jeff Buckley, uh, who sang that famous Lenin Cohen song, Hallelujah. Over here, we got the Counting Crows. And uh, also, again, Bruce Springsteen's band. Bruce is under the five there. Um, now, we're going to head down Mineta Street. And uh, off to the left here at uh, in this doorway... You're going to see uh, Patti Smith with Jim Carroll. Jim Carroll wrote the Basketball Diaries. They made a movie out of it. He sang that song called People Who Died. It was very famous. Uh, now, if we're going to, as we proceed down further, we're going to first see uh, an album by uh, Southside Johnny and the Asbury Jukes. They're from New Jersey. Uh, this time, for it's for real, it was called. They're friends of, of uh, Bruce Springsteen. Here are the Loving Spoonful again, uh, and uh, here's Jerry Seinfeld. He made a commercial here once. Um, now, off to the left is a place that used to be called the Fat Black Pussycat, also called the Commons, and uh, it was where Dylan wrote Blowing in the Wind. So here we're going to kind of zoom in on it, um, and we're going to look in the window. Uh, and, but can't see too much here, but uh, we're going to cut to black and white. This is what it used to look like, a Fred McDara picture, back when uh, Dylan wrote Blowing in the Wind here. So when we come out, we're going to hit the street. We're going to take a left. Uh, these are uh, this is a photograph from about 1900, just so you can see what it used to look like way back in the day. There used to be another entrance of the restaurant here. Here's a picture of Patti Smith uh, taken there. Now, uh, during that same Patti Smith shoot, the, you used to be able to see this building that's there, it's, uh, but it's behind it. But there's Patti again. These pictures are all taken by Frank Stefanko, who's a friend of Patti's from uh, college. And uh, he took, uh, th that's her again from by him, he took the pictures for Bruce Springsteen's Darkness at the Edge of Noon. Now we're heading down towards the end of the street, off to the left was the house uh, where Al Pacino uh, was in uh, Serpico. That was him going down the, to the, the doorway. And then uh, when we come up here, we're going to see uh, his girlfriend. That's him fixing the bike, but his girlfriend teaching him, trying to teach him to dance. So there we are looking up the street again. Uh, we are going to turn around and head back down towards 6th Avenue. And I'm going to 
speed things up a bit so because it's a long walk down but I just want you to see what it looks like when you get down here so when you hit here off to the left you're gonna be Bleecker Street so some you may walk down Bleecker and then go up this way from the back uh, and then we're gonna uh, pan around and you will see the street then you will look up 6th Avenue All right, so that's our Pop Spots tour of uh, Mineta Street, Mineta Lane. There's a lot more uh, streets in the village that we're going to be taking a look at, so check back on this uh, YouTube channel. Uh, the website is popspotsnyc.com. The book is Pop Culture New York City. I got 2,000 pop culture locations in New York City. For anybody coming to town who wants to see where movies, uh, TV shows, uh, record album covers, uh, you know, comic book characters, novels, you name it, it's all in the book. So check it out. We'll be back. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.